So here is the 36 bow, uh, redone as a planted tank. And it's probably been up like this for, oh, I don't know, a week, week and a half. Um, I'm not sure what inspired this. I think the notion of less water changes and zero nitrates and all that kind of stuff, um, maybe from salt water, decided to try my hand at a uh, planted freshwater. So here's a uh, here's what it's looking like. I don't quite remember the names of everything here, but I know these are some sword plants. Um, I can't remember the name of this thing, but it starts with an A. Um, I think that's a wisteria in the back. Um, oh, there's the pleco. Not too often you see the pleco out and about. But it is kind of late at night right now. He does tend to come out at night. The lights are going to be turning off in the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes. So I guess he's out a little early. The clown pleco. My grammies. I have the pearl grammy back in. He's still a little funky and his fin is still messed up. But I don't know. He seems fine. I'm just leaving him in here for now. Whatever he has doesn't seem to spread, so I'm not too worried. Here's the rams. They're having a good old time. Panda quarries. And uh, one guppy. <laughs> that guppy is a survivor. There used to be seven guppies in this tank. And that is the sole surviving guppy. I don't think I'm putting any more guppies back in here once it dies. I may actually get some more of these rummy nose tetras. I really like those, uh, the rummy nose. But, uh, yeah. 36 planted tank. Pretty happy with that. This is still running the Eheim. <clears throat> 2217. It's the big one, <clears throat> but it's uh, it's not too big. I mean, for this tank, I think it's uh, uh, almost just right <laughs> in terms of the flow rate and all that. It's uh, you know you can see the surface, but you don't want too much movement in a planted tank. I actually took the power head out recently I bought that power head over there and uh, now I'm not even using it so I'm not sure what I would do with that I might move the power head to my salt water quarantine tank so that's going to be this tank I think the 20 long is now going to be the salt water quarantine it used to be the fresh water uh, but that's going to move upstairs to my new stand but uh, yeah this tank is um, <coughs> I don't know. I think this is like a 10 time improvement over how it used to be. And um, just looks really nice. New gravel too. That's the other big thing is ditch that sand. And it's got this gravel now. There's the uh, my favorite ram there. He looks better than ever. I feel like all these fish look so much better in this tank. Look at that. The, core, the panda quarry was up on the top there. They seem pretty happy. <clears throat> Their barbells were all, were all messed up on the sand. That sand was not good for them. That aragonite sand is just not the right kind of sand. They seem happier on this uh, planted substrate. <laughs> this guy. I feel like he's watching me. He sees what I'm doing. You can see there's some new growth on these. The new growth is green, and then I guess it turns brown as it gets older. And uh, that's a good sign, because these supposedly are going to grow to the top. These ones have some new growth, too. Even these, I feel like, are growing out of control. I might have to prune them back. That should be fun. <laughs> but um, I'd say that's probably mostly a good sign. Oh, look at that, the shrimp. One of my shrimp is uh, cleaning the plant there. 
little shrimps. Those shrimps are so hard to find, they camouflage in there because they're clear. There is six of them, or there was. If I could try to count six, I'd be surprised. <laughs> they hide pretty good in here. Oh, there's one. These guys are pretty cool. They are a new addition. But, um, yeah, that's how it looks now. I think this is definitely the best incarnation of this tank to date. This tank has gone through at least three or four different incarnations, and I think by far this is <laughs> the epitome of uh, this tank. I don't think this tank is going to ever look better than this. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. Still got some nice caves too for the, uh, you know, whatever they want to do. They can hang out in those caves, but I kind of like how I have that jammed in there. <laughs> Look at him popping out. <laughs> they love it. And then even up here, it's almost like a cave. So this whole pile, even though you can't put plants there, at least it's all cave figures get my use out of it put the tall plants behind it <clears throat> you know the guppy almost looks out of place even the garamis I mean the garamis fit in somehow but it's not really quite right in terms of garamis are probably more uh, Asian than uh, South American but the rams and the tetras and the coris that, that's definitely fitting a the theme here I'm, I'm liking it though and I like the Grammys with the Rams so we'll see how this works so far I like it they're mostly pretty peaceful the Grammys they're big but they don't really bother the other fish they are the biggest fish in here by far though especially that blue one he's big alright that's the 36. I have to do some updates on the other tanks soon. It's been a little while since I made one of these update videos, but I think out of all the tanks, this one's the biggest change. I mean, it's completely redone. New substrate, uh, new plants, uh, similar rock. I mean, all the wood is the same wood, and all these pieces of rock were in here before. It's just now there's a lot less rock. You see that whole box of rock was all in here before, but now the plants uh, take up that space. I honestly think this is way better. So yeah. Alright, until next time.